hi everyone welcome back to the channel so in this video we are going to see how we can leverage google spam api into our python code and also we'll see how we can uh, use that api with the lang chain okay so if you don't know lang chain then lang chain provides a uh, interface uh, where you can you know uh, use large language models into your application using lang chain right so it is kind of tool of choice of for developers for building uh, production grade applications or by LLMs, right? So that is link chain. Now, uh, what is large language models? So uh, you already know, right, right? That large language models now becoming famous in this era. So uh, it is uh, a kind of pre-trained model. Uh, so many models are open source. Many models are, you know, kind of private. We need to get access of that or uh, we need to get the you know api keys of particular models from respective companies and we can use those models right so in this video we are going to see particularly about uh, palm right palm 2 uh, so palm 2 is a google's next generation model so uh, now i am recording this video uh, like gemini already introduce in this uh, in this world right so it is also a google's next generation uh, multi model model uh, after this palm right palm 2 so if you want me to make a separate video on that then put your thoughts in comment section i'll definitely make video on the that topic right so here uh, like palm 2 is a state of art language model uh, with uh, multilingual reasoning and uh, coding capabilities okay so this is the palm 2 and now we'll just uh, focus on how we can set up our environment and how we can use a palm 2 api okay so let's get started so before we move ahead we need to uh, make sure that we have the uh, maker suit account okay so we just need to log in so i will paste that link in my description you can check this out so we'll go in this uh, link and uh, here it will redirect me to the google ai for developers page and here you need to go in this maker suit right so you need to log in with your um, email okay and uh, you have to create a api key to use uh, large language models of google okay so this is the interface right so if you'll go below then there is a section which is start developing and here you have to create an api key okay so i have already my api key okay so you can click on this and generate api key and uh, like paste that api key somewhere so you can use that for later use right so i will just uh, close this okay so now we have our api key now uh, what we need we need to install the google generative ai library so i have already installed if you don't then uh, you need to go in your cmd so i'll go in cmd and uh, here i will just say pip install google generative ai and uh, now it will get installed in my system and then also you will require link chain for this video so uh, as you can see that uh, Google Generative AI library was already got installed okay so now uh, we are going to install this link chain it is already installed right so just click on enter and uh, now after installing those libraries uh, now a general practice is you have to store the API key uh, into your system uh, environment variables or some you know safe place or some secret managers uh, which you can find online right but uh, this is the step you need to do like you have to export your api key with the key name google api key and you have paste you can paste your api key here okay in quotes and uh, then in your code you can just get that from this os.getenv right and you can use this so here for this video i have just uh, added my secret key in this uh, let me show you so it's this secret uh, dot pi file okay so i'm just importing that uh, as a name google api key 
okay so this is the thing which i'm doing and here so as you can see this is the simple code right so here as you can see we are importing a palm module from generative ai right google dot generative ai and uh, this os we don't require okay so i was just trying another thing so that's why i'm i imported that so now uh, you have to do configuration of your api key so you have to say pi palm dot configure and uh, api key is equal to google api key okay so that that is the thing and uh, now uh, we can add prompt so whatever thing we want to do then we can just add in a, a line okay you can also directly add that here but i have just added uh, separately and uh, with this generate text uh, function you can actually uh, generate a text for this prompt uh, you have you have to give some uh, parameters okay so the model name the prompt name and the temperature so uh, like the temperature is kind of thing where uh, you are telling uh, like how much uh, generative or how much you know flexible answer uh, the model model need to produce so if you will give uh, less then it will be you know kind of precise in the nature but uh, if you will give more then it will be you know more creative in the nature so that is the thing what temperature does so i am i just given low temperature so i need some you know uh, uh, concise answer right so that's the thing and uh, there are also other models you can use right uh, for different use cases i have used this text b zone and also uh, one more thing that uh, this api also takes some charge okay so means they have some you know of uh, charge for per request so if i'll uh, show you the article that it is saying google's palm api pricing is based on the number of requests you make to the api okay so for example if you send a request to palm api with payload of 10500 characters you will build build for one uh, 11000 character at a cost of 0 0.011 per request okay so this is kind of thing and also you can go in the uh, documentation of uh, google where you can find uh, some charges okay so for uh, for particular models it charges uh, some particular amount per request okay but uh, the charges are minimal so uh, like if you you are, you are not able to build this uh, whole um, large language model in your system right you will tell lot of charge so this is why they you know provide this kind of model and you can just use with some minimal cost okay so that's the thing and uh, let me do this uh, need to connect my charger okay so now uh, if i'll run this let me say press shift enter then let's wait for the result and as you can see that we we passed prompt as explain the difference between effective and effective with examples right so they uh, the model has given a, a very good answer by the way uh, the effective means producing a desired or intended result effective means re relating to or affecting the emotions right and also given some examples here and uh, also given a conclusion right so that's the thing right we are getting the response from the model uh, and then now we will focus on how we can use lang chain right so uh, currently we we used our api with the library called generative ai uh, in python right and uh, by using lang chain also we can uh, access google's palm api so we have to import lang chain dot llms import google uh, google palm okay and uh, then we have also need to we don't require this generative AI library as of now so i'll just remove this right we no, don't require os i'll remove this and here i will say google palm okay and we have to give the google api key so this is the key which we have to give and already i have imported the uh, the api key right so we'll give api key and uh, this time i'll just give temperature is equal to zero right so llm dot temperature and i've given zero right and uh, we have given the same prompt and this is the method right earlier the method was different but llm which we are using is from 
uh, Langchain, right? So Langchain.llms, we are using Google's Google Palm module, right? To access Google's Palm uh, Palm model, right? Uh, so that's why the method it's it's from Langchain, and uh, then we have uh, we have added our prompt. So here we need to uh, focus that the prompts it taking it kind of list. Okay, so we can give multiple prompts here in the list, and then we we have our result variable, and then uh, we can access our result uh, because we are give, we can give multiple prompts. So we can access this result with the zeroth index. Okay. Uh, so you can also print LLM result okay and uh, you will get some kind of dictionary and you can just access generations variables uh, like zeroth uh, index of zeroth index dot text right so we'll get the answer so I'll just press shift enter and uh, let's see what we get right so as you can see that we got the response right uh, it is also a same kind of response which you got from uh, earlier right uh, so that's the magic of using langchain so uh, if you'll go that uh, langchain.llms okay if I'll go here uh, in internet then it will provide uh, different LLMs which we can use right so if you'll if you'll see here then as you can see there are a lot of LLMs right so uh, let's go below okay so uh, this is not the correct page by the way but uh, here uh, let's go back and uh, here I'll just click on this so uh, here there will be a lot of LLM you will find right so as you can see here there is open EI uh, LLM which we can use uh, there is some different LLMs which we will use so based on your requirement you can uh, use LLMs okay uh, so that's all about this video. I hope uh, you like this video. If you did, then please do subscribe. In the next video, we will try to focus on creating some kind of QA application where we are going to feed PDF and we will generate embeddings and uh, then we are going to ask some questions and we'll get the answer from the Palm API, okay, uh, using Palm model, right? So that's all about this video. Uh, thank you guys. Bye.